Could I have someone uh, explain to me what a preliminary conceptual design is, given that we're asking this person to provide one? Uh, someone from the administration, Mr. Howard, perhaps? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, the preliminary conceptual design would basically be the floor plans for the different floors in the facility, and potentially we may get some elevation drawings, which would be some exterior uh, drawings of the design as well. Well, I'm wondering why we need a preliminary conceptual design, because we've got several, all paid for by the City of Moose already. Like, here's the one that's been sent to Ottawa and Regina, and here's the conceptual design right here. Though it's different, it has a couple of soccer fields attached to it, and this new motion doesn't have any soccer fields. But there is a conceptual design that has already been approved by this council, sent to Ottawa, sent to Regina. And if you don't like that one, I guess you could use the 2000 conceptual design for the Moose Jaw Communiplex. Councillors Chow and Mayor McBain might be more familiar with that, but there's nice pictures of what it would look like from outside, and here's the pictures of what the, the inside floors would look like, several of those. And if you're not happy with that one, there's another one called the Communiplex Development. It's got really nice floor plans and elevation drawings. And if you're not happy with that one, you can always go back to the one we paid 25000 for, the new Stadia one, which I would point out, uh, November 6th, one year ago tomorrow, moved by Councillor Schwinghammer, that the City of Moose Jaw reaffirm its financial commitment of $15 million towards the construction of a multiplex facility consisting of a stadium-style hockey rink and attached curling rink at an estimated cost of $36.3 million as envisioned in the business plan dated November 2005 from New Stadia, which has really nice floor plans, really nice elevations. So I'm asking myself, why do we need another preliminary conceptual design? The problem isn't no conceptual plans. We've got lots of conceptual plan pictures. What we don't have is any fundraising because time is of the es essence we keep hearing. Well, at some point, the time has to be to start fundraising to demonstrate support in the community for this project. 